DAOs, or Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, are a popular governance model in the blockchain space, commonly used for dApps, projects, and crypto investment funds. They are known for their openness, transparency, and decentralization, as well as their ability to work with self-executing smart contracts. DAOs are represented by rules in code so that everything is transparent and controlled by the organization members. Each member is given a token that represents shares of the DAO, and that token can be used to vote and make decisions. Any member can submit a proposal and anyone else can vote on the proposal. There is a variety of open source options available when creating a DAO. You will need a technical solution to manage your proposals and votes. Follow the tips I suggest in today's video and you'll be able to set up a DAO quickly and have a community following to support you. Hi there, I'm Darren Wheatley from Foreverland. In today's video, I'll be sharing information about how to quickly set up a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization, using a bit of technical knowledge and some tools. The most important ingredient that makes a DAO successful is a strong purpose for self-organization and community. First, let's go through the basics. What is a DAO? A DAO is an online community that operates on the rules set forth in its smart contracts. It can set its own rules on purpose, membership, and voting. In simple terms, rather than being governed by a limited group, DAOs use a set of rules written down in code which are enforced by the network of computers running the shared software. DAO is an open source software application that enables collective control of a crypto wallet to pursue common objectives. It's written specifically to run on cryptocurrency networks. The DAO is now one of the most popular governance models used for decentralized finance projects, DeFi. Membership to a DAO is determined by ownership of some of the DAO's token, which is issued on a blockchain like Ethereum and acts much like a digital membership card, enabling access to gated content, voting rights, and other benefits. So why should I create a DAO? Well, DAOs are a very useful way to organize communities efficiently with technology that guarantees integrity, especially if you're doing a crypto project. Setting up a DAO will have some significant advantages as it relies on smart contracts. It's intended to mimic an organizational structure where rules and regulations are built, but using open source code and the use of smart contracts. To set up a successful DAO, you'll need a purpose, a voting mechanism, a community, a governance token, and a way to manage its funds. Let's look at each of these individually. You'll need a good underlying project structure and reason for the DAO to run, a purpose, as DAOs are simply a way for organizing projects or funds. You can create your own voting mechanism or use a third party provider. This is the primary way to get people to interact with the DAO and make changes. Being open source code and enforced via the use of smart contracts, rules are decided by the DAO stakeholders. Unlike traditional organizations, there is no hierarchy in DAOs. The more people or stakeholders that join and participate in the governance of your DAO, the stronger the decentralization gets. To align the interests of the organization with that of its members, DAOs incentivize a distributed network of users to achieve the goal. It's quite common for people to want a right to an opinion in a DAO. In the share system, users deposit cryptocurrencies with the DAO to be invested. The internal capital that is used to incentivize stakeholders ensures that the organization runs smoothly. Once the original set of rules have been established and programmed into smart contracts, DAOs enter into a funding phase that anyone wishing to access it can participate. To manage funds, most of the DAOs have a treasury or some crowdfunding access. They are usually held in a multi-signature wallet that it requires all key participants to agree. Now let's look at some of the established DAOs in crypto. Take a look through them if you need some inspiration on the rules and setups that work best for your project. The first successful example of a DAO was BitShares, a virtual e-commerce platform linking sellers and customers without a central authority. The next one is Maker DAO, a software that maintains stablecoin. Augur, a prediction marketing platform. Dash, a cryptocurrency managed by its users. Aave, an open source and non-custodial protocol to earn interest on deposits and borrow assets. And Uniswap, a cryptocurrency exchange which uses a decentralized network protocol, to name a few. Other use cases include social media platforms such as Steemit or shared virtual worlds such as Decentraland. So how do I create my DAO? 
Many simple tools are available today to get your DAO up and running quickly. I'll be talking about DAO Stack Alchemy. DAO Stack Alchemy, formerly known as XDAI, is a tool used for creating DAOs on Ethereum and Genosis chain. Through their UI, you can create a simple DAO, add DAO members, and open your organization. To use this tool, go to the website daostack.io and then click on Launch a DAO. Step one is to connect your MetaMask wallet to their DApp. For step two, the Create Organization page comes up. At the very top, you'll see Network with default Ethereum mainnet selected. The fee for setting up a DAO on Ethereum is around 0.2 Ether, or around 500 USD. If you find that the fees are too high, then there is another option. Select Network as DAI, and the fees will be much less. It is much cheaper to use the XDAI chain than the Ethereum mainnet. Step three, you need to go through the steps on the screen. It'll ask you to set the description, configure to customize, add members, and then launch. Step four, pay the fee to successfully deploy the DAO and install the organization. There you go. Now you've successfully created a DAO. It was pretty simple with DAO stack. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video and if you learned something. I bring you videos every single week, so do subscribe to the Foreverland channel. See you next time. Damn.